four cities in different countries. I've been an international student, and I know the struggle that students face when coming to a new country to study. I have a seven point in which I will bring uh, uh, into Asia to rebrand and uh, make the association what it should be. One of them is if I'm elected as the president of Asia, I will create a multicultural event uh, to encourage and organize our students into studentship thereby uh, uh, organizing International Week, International Sport Day, thereby inviting a uh, key multi uh, multicultural speaker to share their diverse experience. Another second point that I will be bringing into ISA if I become the president is to help international students overcome issues uh, they might uh, face throughout their academic year. The third point is the issue of accommodation. Uh, we all know that accommodation here in University of Hotel for international students is very critical and very uh, uh, becoming uh, alarming. Uh, and also, it, 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 it's a problem. Uh, it is believed that university management does not recognize international students during uh, December vacation. So my brothers, they can bear me witness. Among, I was among those that fought last year, December, when we were being chased out from uh, residents. I will ensure that history does not repeat itself by ensuring that uh, 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 accommodation is in place for those that will be staying behind due to maybe research or their permit issue. Fourthly, I will ensure that uh, uh, I gather opinion of students, uh, uh, opinion of students regarding decision affecting international students. And the lastly, that I want to bring to Isha, Isha is I will ensure that uh, 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 there is each transition uh, for incoming students into University of Hotel. All these I have in mind to put in place if I become your president. I hope I get your full support to be, the, uh, uh, to be, your, uh, to be your president, to represent you to the management of University of Hotel. Give me the chance to put you in the limelight. Thank you. Are there questions? Question? Yes, there should be questions. Yeah. Yeah. Five minutes question. Uh-uh, not five no, minutes. Okay. <laughs> what is this for? Uh, international association. International student association. <laughs> <Baruch. laughs> <laughs> wow, it's a check. Okay. Anything else? Questions? Thank you. Yes, yes, oh. we have one. Okay. My brother, yeah. uh, from what you have been saying, you say that uh, you want to make sure like, uh, that uh, uh, international students are not chased out of the race during these vacations. But you didn't tell us how. Yeah, um, currently um, I am um, uh, assistant of body and I don't know So I'm a bit closer to Mr. Um, and some other people. So with that, I should be able to, you know, put some necessary measures in place by compiling the list of those that will be staying behind during December vacation. Because I, the last time I visited NMMU three, three, uh, three months ago, I met uh, the president there and I asked that how come when you guys finished, you know, during the year, did they change your uh, guys out like that? He said no, they have, uh, the university have a special residence for them, for all international students. Those people that got uh, permit issue that won't be able to go home, or those people that think that uh, the, res uh, 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 the research, you know, that, you know, make them to stay behind. And also those people that their country you know, far out there, like Nigeria, that we can't just uh, uh, go home like that or something. Can I ask you a question? Have you ever worked in capacity as a student before? In any capacity? Have you ever done that in the past? In the past, I. I've been uh, my university there. Where? What were you? Legal. Where did you work at? I what capacity did you operate? There, I'm a university. Lagos State University. Uh -huh. So there, what? There, I'm a, a departmental rep. As what? As a departmental rep. As a departmental rep. Yeah. So you've never gone on the SRA, ISA level before? 
Mm -hmm. During my NYC, I serve as the president as well. As what? As the president. Of the authority has a problem. How are you going to tackle them with the students? Or the students have a problem with the authority. How are you going to tackle them? What face are you going to put down? The face I'm going to put down is the yes. fact that uh, actually I'm not the, uh, uh, the SRC president. I must be able to team with the SRC president to uh, the relevant office, like uh, the manager, uh, the director of uh, international office, to be able to iron the issue out to the management. Yeah. To the what? Yeah. To the university you management. Do you have the capacity to be the president of IXA here at all? Mm -hmm. I think I have the capacity. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Because I, I could just... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. I don't think you have confidence. Thank you. All right. Please next. Yes. Hello. Um. Question. I would like to. Because. No, just this last one. I I don't have a question. Okay. Comment. But just a comment. Okay. And I don't know if this forum. I mean, this particular section we are now mm. is only for presentation from the nominees and question or tackle or a tackle event that we should be throwing bomb to each other. Yes. Yes. Because if the if chair is not taken here, we, we might end up in mess. Yeah. No. Uh, and, and, and it actually, this. Uh, the questions being asked is just to test your confidence yeah. and then to, you know, also show whether you have the capacity to do Because here, all right, the questions are supposed to be directed in such a way that we can unveil mm -hmm. the person talking, but yeah. not, let's yeah. not just pass a blanket of judgment mm -hmm. uh, exactly. to say, no, you I don't think you are this. Yeah. But ask your questions and expect mm. answers. From mm. the answers, we will judge the Please. person talking. The yes. audience will judge. Yes. Yes. And that will now determine their vote. Yes. So it's not here, you're not here to castigate or whatever. Please. And try and, please, for those who are asking their question, try and con your question in such a way that it will be friendly. Yeah. Yeah. Not please. Please. Yeah. Not intimidate. <laughs> and then the person who is going to answer the question will answer it in such a way that whether he has the capacity or not, it will also show. So please, okay. let's take this easy. <laughs> so the next speaker. The next speaker. Thank you, Janice. Thank you, speaker. Oh, 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 <laughs> okay, the next speaker. All right, prosper. Thank you. Five minutes. Yeah, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. My name is Prosper Mgalao. I'm from Tanzania. And I'm a student here at the University of Hotel um, in the Department of Development Studies. I'm doing a PhD. Uh, this is my second year. Uh, I'm, first of all, I'm profoundly honored to be nominated for the president's position. Uh, this is what I'm thinking I'm going to deliver if I'll be given a chance to be president. One is to make sure that the constitution of the International Students Association is well prepared, constructed in a, in a manner that it accommodates all the needs and the expressions and the feelings of the international students make sure that that constitution is presented in the respective authorities up there. That is number one. But the second thing is, I'll, I'll make sure that the communication network within the international students is revived and is very strong in a sense that every, yeah, each member of the uh, ISA is capable of sharing or updating any information or any pressing issues issue that is going around which needs needs attention that is number two but the third thing uh, I'll, I'll make sure that uh, the international students involve partly or indirectly because i know there's no way the international students can 
can involve directly in the decision making of this uh, university. But our former committee that will cooperate closely with the SRC organization to make sure that the issues of the ISA are represented and are presented in the platform of the leadership of this university. So those are the three things that I'm going to to be dealing with if I'll be given a chance to be president. Thank you very much. Questions from the audience? Any question? Yes. I have a question. Can I can, can, yeah. Yes. 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 I noticed that you, uh, uh, um, unlike, um, unlike our brother here, uh, you didn't, uh, you didn't okay. prompt. There's uh, an objection here. Okay. You're yeah. not supposed to ask this one. Yeah. So right, 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 right. Uh, I, I take it back. Zip. Zip. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that uh, correction. Yes, audience. The audience and the judgment themselves. Yes, audience. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Mr. President. Did you, you, you spoke about the constitution of, of this. Uh, did you take time to look at it and see some gaps or loopholes where you think you're coming in will actually bridging the gap, the gaps or what you might have wanted? Yeah, currently I've uh, gone through it in a detail, but I know it is still in a raw process, and I know some of the key issues that are addressed in the Constitution, but in cooperation with the International Office, I'll make sure that that thing is, is, is well covered. Thank you. Yes. Um, Mr. Prosper, right? Um, in your first address, you said you are from Development Studies. So, as a Development Ambassador, what have you seen or what have you noticed that are challenges to international students in the University of Forte? Because as we were speaking, I have not noticed, I don't know if anybody has done that, I have not noticed a loop or, or some challenges that you have identified that this is what we are fa facing in this university. Then as regard to that, this is how I'm going to tackle it. Maybe you can make you can mention two or three challenges that you know that we as international international students are facing. Then tell us what strategy are you going to apply to solve the challenges? Okay, thank you. One of the main uh, biggest challenge here is accommodation. Um, I myself have underwent such a situation whereby having accommodation on time when I reached here it was really a challenge. So I believe the instruments are there and in my capacity, one of the strategies that I have uh, when I'll be elected as a president, I'll do a sensor, sort of a sensor. I'll create a questionnaire and share it with the ISA members, because I may think that a problem that affects me, it affects all, but I believe in participation. So I will create a simple methodology which I can gather the information based on their, their, uh, the acuteness of the problems which are very, very uh, pressing to them and make sure that I, I, I begin with, with those. So I'm going to collect information about that and begin to work based on the information that I have. Thank you. Thank the you. last one, Thank the last question, just because he has raised his hand. Yes, the last Thank question. Um, the nature of uh, the Student Representative Council at this university actually doesn't have a position for, for international students. And as international students, we contribute immensely to the academic excellence of this university. Is there in any way, will you be able to lobby the administration so that at least as international students, we have a permanent position? 
on the Student Representative Council. Yeah, thank you very much. Lobbying is part of my strategy, as I've said. What I'm going to do is to cooperate with the international office and have the backup from you people, members of the ESA, so that we can uh, we can actually confront this and make sure that we are in the representation of the decision making of this organization. Right. Thank you very much. Next speaker. I'm your brother, Anthony Sloan. I'm a postgraduate student and communications partner of social science. Um, just one a little tiny, tiny, tiny thing. The nature of, uh, of, of, a pres of presidencies and the nature of politics uh, dictates that even your, your president is almost like your, your uh, how you say, the face of your organization. You should be able to articulate your positions or, or more specifically, to understand your position and then articulate to people who don't necessarily have your, your interests at all, let's put it that way. Uh, but in that, in that, in that arena, uh, you, the president has a whole, for lack of a better term, cabinet, you know, or ministers, however you want to put it. And that's what we have with our other portfolios. So the entire cabinet has to be able to relate to that president. Also, the president has to be able to uh, relate in a very, uh, short-term, quick manner because, you know, we don't have time. We're all doing other things. Um, so to put all that, all that together, um, uh, we have so many issues at this particular university, and most of the issues that people do not, are not doing their jobs. When I say people not doing their jobs, uh, my biggest complaint is that the administration that we have, they're not administering. They're trying to dictate. They're, they're, not, they're not helping the staff, they're not helping the students really, right? They're, there's almost like a saying that they'll tell the students what to do, that they'll tell us what to do. Even our own administrator, even our own director, our manager, they don't really, I don't see them really doing stuff that, that's going to elevate us, that, that's going to help us, okay? So whatever, however configuration that we, we, we have, we almost have to redefine, we have to make all these other departments, all these other entities do what they're supposed to do. The only way we can do that is by us doing what we're supposed to do to the maximum. We have to almost be the example of how things are supposed to be. Having said all of that, I am not a politician, all right? <laughs> um, I have to, now, not only that, let me say this. Uh, usually in these kind of positions, uh, when you get back to your countries, or uh, as you put this in your, your own personal portfolio, your personal CV or, or, or resume, and this will carry you to other heights in your career. I have no such grandiose ideas. This is not my mission on earth. So I have to respectfully decline, you know, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy that you nominated me and gave me this opportunity to uh, say what I just said. <laughs> push them so that we can change things at this university, not only for us, but as an example for all the other students, undergraduates, as well as postgraduate students. Thank you very much. No questions now? Based on, based on what you have said, there's no question for you. No question. So do you want us to go vote for the portfolios since they are done with the presentation? They go out with vote, then we move and move? Yes. Okay. I can vote, right? Yeah. I don't have to yes, go out. Yeah. Yay, I want to vote. <laughs> <laughs>